CJ here. I'm here to show you how to remove extra space from your wig cap. For clients that have smaller heads and the dome cap or whatever type of cap you're using is too much space in it. And some people are not familiar with how to remove it. So I'm here to show you guys exactly how to do that. So the first thing you want to do is you want to have your needle and thread. And as you can see, I've, I've already placed this cap on the wig canvas head, on the canvas head. And I my pins are in the exact spaces from her measurements that I'm, I've already measured. Um, and I just transferred it to the wig block. If you're interested in seeing the video about that, just let me know, leave it in the comments below and I'll be happy to make a video on that also. So when removing the extra space from the wig cap, you wanna go to the center of the wig cap, okay? And you wanna take it and you wanna move it all the way up. You wanna move it up to the top of that seam right there, right there where the band is on the wig cap. And I am using a dome cap. That's what I prefer to use. It doesn't really matter. I mean, if my clients want a mesh cap or a ventilated cap, I do use those. But the person I'm making this for is my sister and she told me it didn't matter, so. So the first thing you wanna do, after you've done that, you brought your you brought the cap all the way up. And now as you can see, it's gonna fit snug on her head. So it's not gonna to be too much fabric. It's not gonna be loose. It's gonna fit her head. So this is my ear to ear T-pin. So I'm just gonna start right like just line it up with that. And I'm gonna bring the thread through. But where I'm bringing the thread through, as you can see, is not the actual band. And the reason is, um, is because I want everything to look professional once my client receives their wig. So you just take it through and you do close stitches and be sure not to bring it through that band. It's going to go right through that part right there. And if you guys can't see me. I'll of course bring the camera closer. And you don't have to do it too tight. You just want to bring it through so that the cap fits snug. And you do it just like you're sewing if you know how to hand sew. As you can see, you're going to go all the way up over to the other side and try to be as neat as possible because you do want your stuff to look professional. No one wants to buy sloppy work. I know I don't. Not if I'm paying three, four hundred dollars for a wig. It, it needs to look professional. Okay, but as you can see you'll have this here but that'll be fine you don't have to worry about that don't worry about that because it's still going to lay down lay down you just go all the way over It's easy peasy. To me it is. <laughs> Once I got the hook of things, it was not hard to do. It's not hard at all. And you're just going to go all the way over. 
and if you guys are wondering the type of thread i'm using this is um the nylon thread it is this is a thread that i choose to use because it's good for your sewing machine you don't have to worry about it getting caught up and getting stuck in your sewing machine like the cotton thread and also the this type of thread i'm using is uv protection so it's protected by the sun it's protected from the sun and also from sweat because a lot of us sweat i know i don't i know i sweat in my head and where i live here in georgia there is a lot of humidity here so as you can see, I got my string caught up in my T-pin, but that's okay. <laughs> as long as I can get it out. But here in Georgia, it's very humid. So you, if it's summertime, you're going to sweat. And I know for most people, um, one of the first places they do sweat is in their head. So I do think about that whenever you're making a wig for yourself or your clients. That phrase, you get what you pay for, that's a true statement. So, if you go to Cheap Around and you pay for cotton thread, then do know that there is a chance of your cotton thread breaking. But this here, this is very good thread. And this is just something that I've always preferred to use. As you can see, I'm going all the way over. And look at my stitches. You see how nice they, they look neat. They look good. That's how you want it to look. Don't just do sloppy stitches because this is your work, you guys. When you're making, when you're doing something for someone and you're selling it, that's your name that's on, that, on the line. That's your brand. So you want everything to look professional. You got to make it look as, pro as professional as possible. So. And as you can see, sometimes your thread will get caught up. If it does, just, just straighten it out. I I honestly love making wigs. Uh, it is just so fun to me. And also, when you're making wigs, you, you don't have to worry about anything. You're just on your own and you get to make wigs. So, as you can see, I'm almost to the other side. And I didn't want to... I could have fastened this video, but I want you guys to see everything. Because I know when, I like, when I'm trying to learn, I, it's hard for me to learn something if I'm not showing step by step. So, most of my videos will be slowed down. If they're a tutorial now if you if I'm just styling something and just showing you the result then yeah it might be a little fast but if you guys prefer slow down videos just let me know and I'll be happy to make them for you I also need you all to drop topics that you're interested in me doing videos on if you're not sure how to do something if I know how to do it I'll be more than happy to show you how to do it okay so i'm pretty much to the other side where my needle has met up with my pen so all i'm going to do is knot it off i'm going to take this string this needle and i'm going to bring it through just like that and i'm a double knotter y'all double knot triple knot you just knot it off just like that Cause you don't want it to come loose you want it to be as secure as possible for you or your client whoever you're making this wig for it doesn't matter it needs to be secure and all you have to do after that is cut your thread These are actually my fabric scissors. I use this to cut my thread. I love them. 
they can cut anything so those are the results as you can see now my client's wig cap will be secure on her head because she does have this is my sister you guys she's my my sister is older than me but she's way tinier than me so she's my big little sister this is who i'm making this wig for she has a 21 inch circumference that's very small so she's she's a tiny person so as you can see these are the results and there's no extra cap that's it so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i plan on making more um just drop your comments below like and subscribe to my channel be sure to hit that notification bell because i will be uploading more videos and also you guys i'm on instagram and I'm bougie j hair and i will also leave that in the description box below bye you guys you guys have a you guys have a nice day